Zebra and quagga mussels dramatically alter aquatic ecosystems and those changes are not reversible. Flathead Lake is extremely vulnerable because it's the most visited lake in Montana by boats from lakes that are invaded by zebra and quagga mussels. There can be as many as 100,000 of these small mussels per square meter. A single female can lay a million eggs in her five-year lifetime. Larvae can stay alive for weeks if they're in water, and the adults can stay alive dry for days. That is one critter we really don't want to see in Flathead Lake. Zebra mussels in Flathead Lake are almost unthinkable. Docks will be covered with it, the water supply will be clogged by them, and they will coat the entire shoreline of Flathead Lake. The mussel shells are razor sharp and cut your feet. The mussels also concentrate toxins, so you have algae blooms along the shoreline that didn't used to be there that can cause respiratory problems. Livestock and dogs have died from drinking water. It's, it's a real concern. Zebras and quaggas can completely clog a four inch pipe so that no water can get through it. Property values would be impacted as well. Hydroelectric dams would have increased costs of cleaning and maintenance and they would pass that cost on to us, the consumer of electricity. The economic impact of this kind of an invasion, in dollars, it's, it's billions. We could lose our angling opportunities, lose the opportunity to spend time with your family out on the lake enjoying the day with a fishing pole. Flathead Lake would be changed forever. One of the most important things in stopping the spread of aquatic invasive species is early detection. Those little tiny organisms are the hardest to detect out there. How are you going to be able to physically look for zebra mussels in a big lake like Flathead Lake? They're not. So we really need a quick, easy, reliable, affordable way of just checking. Our lab is one of the first to have validated tests for zebra and quagga mussels to help in the fight against their invasion. Water samples are collected in the field with plankton tow nets and arrive here in the lab in a tube like this. We amplify DNA from zebra mussels just to see if there's any in there. Once we amplify DNA from the water sample, we get a plot that shows a cluster of points from the water sample from the lake. If we had any positive results, you would see amplification in one of these two regions. It's exciting that we have tests in the lab that are so sensitive we can detect a few cells in the water from zebra mussels. We're fortunate to be able to employ this cutting edge technology and we need continued funding in order to go on protecting these beautiful ecosystems. I love Montana's pristine lakes that support our amazing wildlife. If invasive mussels show up, they will destroy the Montana we know today. As a board member of the Montana Outdoor Legacy Foundation, I know that efforts through Fish, Wildlife and Parks boat monitoring stations and research at the Flathead Lake Biological Station to stop an invasion are critical to Montana's future. In the case of aquatic invasive species, Gordon and his lab are literally moving science forward in front of our eyes. The approach that Gordon and his colleagues have developed gives us that early warning system. Investing money in how to get the early warning signal done and done right is essential. It is wonderful to have this really high-tech, well-thought-out group of scientists here at Yellow Bay. I mean, what a gift to find it right and to the whole ecosystem. Although our tests for early detection of zebra mussels are up and running, we need continued funding support for both the supplies and labor to analyze samples from across Flathead Lake. As funds have been declining for natural resource management, Private gifts and donations are absolutely essential to continue to develop this genetic testing to protect Flathead Lake from aquatic invasive species. We need your help with this for the health and well-being of Flathead Lake.